I'm Sandra and I'm five, five years old and, um, and today I'm going to read you how full is your bucket. Rex was putting one of his, the last blocks on his towel when his little sister came in. I want to buy you. Rex. Well, go away, you're too little. And Vex, stay back, you'll knock it over. I can be very careful. Go play with your baby toys on me. Talk. Grandpa. Grandpa shook his head. Vex, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket when it's empty. She feels bad, but when it's full, he feels great. Didn't you notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket, hmm. Sometimes Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandfather was talking. But the next morning, when Felix woke up, there it was a small gray bucket floating above his head. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning, and it's almost time to go on a set. Felix slipped and ch choco wheat scattered across the floor. Felix yelled his mom, you should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drip spill out. Drip, drip. Ha <laughs> she the cereal, crunch the cereal with a broom. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus. When he, with this school bus honking, Felix quickly sweep up the chocolate wheats and grab the last blueberry muffin before he could even take one bite. Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Hey, look at this. You back back my perfume. Mother has one just like it. It's okay. It was still morning and Felix back and felt almost empty. As he watched his classmates walk in the, into the room, he secretly hoped that they would trip and fall. That's what, that's what it feels when you have an empty bucket. Felix slumped into his seat waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bumper Nickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He couldn't bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix gra grabbed and felt the a big shop land in right in his bucket. Jap 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 there Jen Who who wanted a pet by me first when his class grew quiet they laughed at all the right places and hood at the scary part. When Felix finally read the end, 
And at the end, everyone clapped, even Ellie who sat next to him. Fred started the show. We all dropped, land in his pocket. Maybe that day won't just be so nice after all. Drop, drop. Team Crumpets today all Rachel and Felix. Collider and Buckle Felix. Nice cow, it's a dog. What well, nice colors there, Felix. By afternoon, his bucket was nearly full. At the recess, when he looked down, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone else had a bucket too. Drop. Let me help you. Drop. Drop. Where's your best book card? Thanks. Okay, this strange thing was that for every drop he had put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own bucket. When Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, You are right, Grandpa. I do. I have an um, uh, invisible bucket and I, and I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's turned on by dog. He almost slapped but, but then he thought dogs might have invisible buckets too. If the door will be fixed, okay, be fixed, okay. I'm going to fix it. One more fix. Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world? The world? And so they did.